Yeah, <laughs> it's I, I, like I said, we played probably about forty games with it. We never got it to. We never got it to fire. You you are not calling logos five times in the average game. Period. <laughs> it's yeah, just no. not. No. no, it's not fast enough. No, uh, um, and most people are playing with artifact hate right now. So yes. I mean, yeah, Nexus doesn't do anything to it, and the only thing that it really is, like pops uh, the is best artifacts in this set are actually immune to uh, Nexus and uh, Ramon Access. So that is a really interesting thing, which we're going to talk about once we get to Untamed. But uh, so overall, I I don't know. L- Logos, I think, is going to be a set third, but it really depends on if there's anything else that's moving on top. Actually, I think there is. I, I actually, I, I see the two that I put there because we're about to talk about the next one. Mars! Mars! Hey, guys! All you people that hate Mars and say that Mars sucks and say that some people give them a hard time, I think Mars is going to be seed one or seed two yeah, it's kind of in where AOA um, for a few reasons. There's a lot of stuff in here that's still a little wishy-washy and hard to use, so that's still going to be a thing. So if you have problems like executing uh board priorities like that's still going to be something you have to address to play mars well because they still have a lot of little creatures but they have some amazing things coming out we've already talked about a few of them when we did our last cast but martian generosity the margins as we said martian generosity seed key abduction that's going to be a real thing there's going to be a lot of decks that can do it too um as, there's another one that destroy them all destroy an artifact destroy a creature destroy an upgrade which is weird, but say that, hey, it's a thing. Like, that's a legit thing because the artifacts are very real in AOA and they've always been a threat in um, in Coda, not so much anymore. But Mars is going to be here to, like, here to play. They have some some great archiving mechanisms still like for anti-creatures. Um, the Shard of Hate isn't the, it's probably the worst shard. Just going through it here. They still have Shatterstorm, which is now... 100% without debate, the best amber control card in the game. And that is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I put Mars at least in the top half. Um, yeah. I I don't know. I've, I've been having trouble. If I bump up Logos to two or and put Mars at three. I think Mars is at two for me right now. Okay. That's fair. Without having played it, you've played it. I haven't. I think Mars with a, a very legitimate win condition. Like, key abduction is only an uncommon. Like, you're going to get Martian Generosity and two key abductions in a deck. There's, yeah. are, there's not, and that's not going to be, there's going to be a lot of those. It's not going to be like, oh, there's 20 of these in the world. Like, there's going to be hundreds of those. <laughs> like, and let me tell you right now, obviously you don't want Mars and Logos together because you it, it causes issues. Uh, because the collector worm is sick. Yes, he the just... collector worm is a, like if you can get collector worm and maybe Brobnar with all like Brobnar into the fray, collector worm. He is. I'm sick. archiving all your shit, like yeah. all of it. <laughs> and, and with that five armor, he basically. I mean, he mm-hmm. becomes a lightning rod. But the problem is, you got to put so much into him. By the time that you've killed him, he's eaten half the board. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, I mean, set. like if if you have into the fray and your Brobnar Brobnar set, and you're able to the, the collector room's probably living to your next turn. You call in like basically he immediately oh, he's, he's eats got five armor. The, he he, does, he takes a lot yeah. of damage. Well, he can just the thing about the way the game's structured though, like there's almost every deck has elusive creatures. So like your next turn when you play into the fray, that's you know fight. Uh, you can ready and fight after each fight effect. And as it doesn't even have worm. to do damage to put it in his art and put it in your archives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like it's you can sick. archive all of their elusive creatures, then start archiving all of their ones until you fight six times. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, eh, it's gonna gross. be so gross. I'll tell you that it's it's pretty gross and a lot of fun. Um, and then they even if you really want to insult them later in the game, destructive analysis is just funny. Uh, deal two damage to a creature you may purge any number of cards from your archives to deal two more damage to the same creature so you're okay i just ate all your stuff now i'm gonna purge it all and kill something big ha <laughs> ha like whew, it's gonna be fun yeah I, I just i think we're gonna have fun with uh project zxy and collector worm because i oh, don't yeah. think they've exactly panned out how that's gonna work yet 
because um, he says you oh, can, yeah, yeah. if you reap with them, you can play an, an archive card as if it were from your hand and have the active house. That will be interesting. So do so I get to play I actually him? think... Well, no, because... Uh, no, they addressed it. Collector Worm says if it leaves your... Ar- Doesn't it say the same thing? Those it they does all say, say if it leaves my archives. That's leaving your archives. So they, it, they any t- it. it's uh, leaving my archives happens before the play? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah, so I think that one's already addressed in the way they worded I, it. Well, because I could say I'm the active player. I say play. You know, I could chain of command yada yada but either way uh, mm-hmm. let's move into sanctum um so this is the one that i've probably looked at the least i i think it moves out of the basement for me um i think it moves ahead of disc for sure so i don't know if i'm actually pushing this down to the bottom which would be crazy i i um, already know who the basement dweller is gonna be uh really okay yeah, i i kind of already know uh sanctum felt good uh, I'll tell you, playing a lot of Sanctum. Sanctum has a lot of steel. Oh, and... I know who you say is in the basement. That's that's real funny. Yeah, isn't um, it? Uh, uh, <laughs> but a lot of steel. Uh, people like uh, Sir Maros is a lot of fun. He's tough to kill. Mm-hmm. Um, who is it? Marek the Marked? Who? Yep, yeah, he one. captures one every time he prevents yep. damage. Mm-hmm. And yep. then guess what? Uh, save uh, not save the week. Um, I'm thinking of the card that gives them plus one armor. It's, I'm drawing a blank on it, but you know there's there's fun things to do with him. Um, yeah. And then Golden Aura <laughs> is absolutely out of its mind. Sick. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. You got a four. I mean, you have Adube the Grim. Who is a lot of fun to just play oh, with. I do love Bear Sir Joya. Yeah. Bear Sir Joya's enemy creatures cannot reap. Okay, there's a lot of like repay, but most of that's easy to get off the board. This is a five power, one armor dude. Like, yeah, just you're <laughs> not allowed to reap. You can't reap. Here's my five one. It might have other shenanigans on it, it might have more power, it might have all sorts of things going on because it's still Sanctum, right? Yeah equalize is fun where basically you get to rearrange how all the captured ember is stored mm-hmm. uh i don't know i i think sanctum's number four maybe maybe number five i mean i gotta I, put it I'll, I'll go conservative and put it in five i could see it being somewhere in four and five range um the one thing that i don't think it's here i don't believe dorsip is in cycle so no, no, it's not in cycle. So that makes this uh still have some. Oh, doorstep is in cycle. There it is. I I found it. Is it? Okay, so doorstep is still in cycle. So Actually. actually, yeah, no, I think it's definitely a four. And before we move on from it, I think my favorite card in it. I always just call it the law. It's sad that I already have nicknames for cards that I haven't played or seen, but the law, in my opinion, uh, because that's that's its type. That's its trait. Huh. So card two sixty one proclamation three forty six e. So let's talk about this card for a moment before yeah. we go on. This card is an artifact. It's another one of those static artifacts I mentioned that are all just amazing in AOA. It says, while your opponent does not control creatures from three different houses, their keys cost two more amber. Yeah, that hurts. That is it. pretty much all the time against a lot of Coda decks. Like that might be a little bit different AOA because board is more important for yep. AOA decks in general. But if you're playing against the Coda deck, in most cases, if you're facing a top competitive deck, as far as far what we've seen in the meta, this basically reads your opponent's keys cost two more. Yeah, your, your opponent's keys cost eight. Yeah, your, your keys cost eight. You know why? Because probably one of your houses is shadows or one of your houses is logos, and you might actually have both of those houses, and I'm going to very easily kill all of those creatures that exist in those two houses. Yes, sir. <laughs> So this and, and there's pretty there's very few decks that you're going to run up against in Coda that will not have at least shadows or logos in their deck. So this is a very real card versus Coda, and it could be just as good against AOA. We don't know yet. I have to play it to know that part of that. But that is a crazy good bump to Sanctum. Yeah, I don't think I got one of those, so I don't think I got to play with it. I'd have to double check. Yeah, um, I know I got a deck with three Hedron walls, and that was just stupid. But is, is that a gives up? Uh, gives all what does it do? It gives everything plus two power or something like that. 